Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 and 5. So today I'm going to be speaking about your teeth. Okay. Your teeth are a really important part of your health. It's been found that oral health or dental health can influence other health as well. Heart disease, diabetes, um, metabolic diseases, cancers, so all other diseases can also be influenced by your oral health or your teeth. So, what is good for your teeth? Number one, fruit. The fiber in fruit, the sugar in fruit, the blend of vitamins and minerals, the phenolic compounds and also the fluid in food is all good for you. Um, the sugars, they are not as high, they mild, they're also bound into fibers. So the fibers get in everywhere and they clean out your teeth. So it's been found after eating fruit, it does not actually promote cavity growth and the eating of the bacteria of your teeth enamel. Then number two, nuts and seeds. So you need the minerals in them, you need the, the omega fats, the anti-inflammatory fats in them for your gum health. And you also need the polyunsaturated fatty acids, the fiber in the nuts and the seeds. The fiber again cleans, it's like a broom that sweeps your teeth, like brushing your teeth if you eat um, food filled with fiber. And like the nuts, the crunchy hardness, as I said, it helps to, to clean and like brush in your teeth naturally. Then something else, your oral pH needs to be constant. If your oral pH goes too low, if it becomes acidic, it breaks down your teeth enamel and then it starts eating into your teeth. So an acidic pH in your, in your dental cavity or your oral area, your mouth is not very good for you. So it's things that increase that, same things that increase Oh, I mean decrease the pH in your stomach. So dairy, animal products, highly processed products, sugary foods. Um, this is a processed sugar, not natural sugar. So then other things that can influence it, medications, the toothpaste you use, um, how often you brush, clean, um, the water that you drink, fluids that you drink, if you drink coffee or tea or cool drinks or fizzy drinks that can influence um, your oral health, then also the dryness of your mouth. Your mouth should be moist, should not be dry. When it's dry, it promotes bacterial growth and virus growth, and that can also then move down into your, your throat, and that can cause colds and flu. Okay, then moving on to number four. So something that is really good for you is a low processed food and low processed sugar intake, because the sugar is feeding the bacteria that will eat your teeth in the end, in essence. That's what happens if they, the bacteria grow, too many bacteria and they start eating your teeth or the sugar that's coating on the teeth. Sh um, processed sugar, for example, cookies, chocolates, it goes and sits on your teeth. If it sits there for a longer period of time, the longer your teeth are exposed to it, the more bacteria can feed on it and the more your teeth will get um, degraded and eaten. So washing your mouth out, rinsing your mouth, drinking water after sugary things will already start helping. Okay, <clears throat> then the last one, number five. Of course, calcium, magnesium, vitamin D to balance and aid the deposition of calcium into your teeth and also your bones. So you don't want your calcium to come out of your bones to go to your teeth. You want it to come from the things you are taking in, from the sun, from your food that should be taken in and put into your teeth and into your bones. You don't want your body to be taking it away and then using it somewhere else. So you always want to consume enough um, calcium, magnesium and vitamin D. And this you can get from sunlight, you can get it from the nuts and the seeds as I mentioned, and also a high fruit intake. So oral health is really essential for good health. Um, it starts in the mouth, good health. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you next time for another 5 in 5. As always, like, subscribe, share this video around, and I hope you found some benefit from it. Stay healthy.